How to fly like a pro. If you've never been on a plane before, here are some basic tips. Pack a pillow, pack a blanket, use earplugs, use a sleep mask, download movies to your phone, wear comfy clothing, suck a board seat during takeoff, get your shoes off, stay hydrated, but don't drink too much booze, take a toothbrush, take eye drops, use the lid before landing, eat pineapple. Everyone knows those. Maybe not the pineapple one, we'll get to that. But here's a few lesser known tips and travel hacks that we've picked up over the more than half a million air miles we've racked up as a travel team. When traveling as a pair, if you can, book the island window seat. People are less likely to book the middle if given the choice, so hopefully you'll get the whole row between you. The middle part of the plane moves least during turbulence, so sit in the middle of the plane if you can. There also tends to be less turbulence in the morning, so if you're a nervous flyer, book a morning flight. If you suffer from air sickness, pack some pineapple trunks. Pineapple contains an enzyme which settles the tummy and can help with swelling. Talking of swelling, we've all heard about deep vein thrombosis. Staying mobile is really important, but on a cramped flight, it can be difficult to leave your seat. Roll your foot over a golf ball to give it a little massage and get the blood moving. Or if you don't tend to carry golf balls around with you, a mini can from the drinks trolley is the perfect size. Just be sure to let the bubble settle before opening it. Some airlines, such as Ryanair, don't have seat wallets, so hang a plastic bag from the arms of the fold-down tray on the seat in front of you to store your stuff. While we're on stuff in plastic bags, Short-haul flights don't have screens, so pick up an extra liquid bag at security, pop your smartphone inside, poke your headphones through and hang it from the seat in front. Then sit back and enjoy the full seatback cinematic experience. And while we're on headphones, bring your own. The ones provided by the airline, if they provide them at all, tend to be pretty rubbish. Well-fitted or noise-cancelling ones are best. Ah, yeah, make sure you don't run out of charge. You can grab a portable USB battery pack to recharge your devices for about a fiver. Well worth it in our opinion. You could always just take an actual, you know, paper book thingy. Wedge it between the tray table and the seat in front to stop them reclining onto your lap. For more helpful tips, hacks and travel advice, visit our channel.